subscribe and click the like icon. I sense an aftershock. Huh? An aftershock? <laughs> oh, no! An aftershock is a smaller earthquake that happens after a large one. Whoa! Stay away from the trees, rangers. We must look for an open area. Huh? It is just a small one. There should be no more. Phew. I hope not. But we'd better go check on the animals. The mountain gorillas live nearby. We can start with them. Mountain gorillas. Mountain gorillas live in forests high up in the mountains. They tend to live in large communities called troops. In fact, there can be as many as 30 gorillas living together. Mountain gorillas are led by the strongest silverback of the group. Silverbacks are male gorillas with a patch of silver hair on their backs. A silverback can be as tall as an adult male. Now let's go find the mountain gorillas. Do you need a lift, Jane? No need, Leo. See you guys there. Wait for us! They're nearby. Wow. wow! Mountain gorillas! They're so calm. It's as if the earthquake didn't happen. I wonder why. Wait a second. That's Ranger Rocky! Ranger Rocky? Hello, Junior Rangers. What are you doing with the mountain gorillas, Ranger Rocky? Well, I was having a stroll in the forest when the earthquake occurred. There was a huge commotion. It was chaotic. The mountain gorillas were panicking. But strangely, they calmed down once I got there. And now they follow me wherever I go. It seems the silverback leader is missing. So I'm the new leader of the troop. Huh? huh? What? It's understandable. What does their leader do, Ranger Rocky? The silverback leader is responsible for the protection of the troop. It's also his responsibility to search for new feeding grounds and lead his troop there. The leader makes all the decisions. Where their home should be, when to eat, and even when to sleep. We have to look for the missing silverback. Where did you find the gorillas? At a rocky valley down south. Then let's head there to see if we can find anything. Come on, Junior Rangers. Good idea, Leo. I'll wait here and continue to protect the troop. Bye, Bye Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Over here, Leo. I found something. Oh, no. The earthquake must have caused this. Listen. A mountain gorilla! It's coming from the other side! Wait here, Jane. We'll see what's over there. Jetpack, Jet pack, activate! activate. <gasps> we found him! The earthquake must have separated the silverback leader from his troop. He's trapped! <clears throat> so what should we do now? We'll have to clear the rocks and lead him back to the others. But how? Hmm. Aha! If we pull this log out, everything should come tumbling down. Got it, Katie. Thanks, Jane. Ready, Leo? Ready. The leader is a safe distance away. All right, then. Here we go. Great job, Rangers! Huh? I was wrong. There's another one. Aftershock! <laughs> Quick, let's get out of here! Whoa! Whoa! Ah! It's out of control! Hello, Junior Rangers. Did you manage to find the Silverback Leader? We sure did.
Stay on Platypus One, Junior Rangers. Huh? huh? What's going on? Dalida is unhappy that Ranger Rocky took over. <gasps> it's a standoff! Gave up? No, he is showing respect to the silverback. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Are you all right? I'm just fine, Leo. Good job, Junior Rangers. You've reunited the troop. Yay! We did it! Mission accomplished. Ranger Jane, what's up? Hello, Leo. I found two baby elephants playing by their river. But one of them looks sad. Just look at this photo. What? A sad baby elephant? We can't have that. We need to turn that frown upside down. <laughs> Can you and Katie come over to help me do that? Of course, Jane. We'll be there right away. Great. I'll send you my location. Ranger out. Ranger out. Let's see if we can find any relevant information about them. Right behind you, Katie. Here it is, the African bush elephant. African bush elephants are the world's largest land mammal. An average elephant can weigh up to 6,000 kilograms and measure up to 3.3 meters high. Wow, it's so much taller than Ranger Rocky. Elephants are known for their trunks, large ears, and ivory tusks. Their large ears help them stay cool. And unlike us, elephants can flap their ears. You mean like this? <laughs> Without using your hands, Leo. But it made you laugh. Hey, I know how to cheer the baby elephant up. There they are. Hi, Jane. Hi, Zoomy. Hi, Leo. Hi, Katie. Are those the elephants, Jane? Yes, they are brothers. Their younger brother is the one that is upset. <coughs> the younger brother kind of reminds me of you, Katie. Uh-huh. Oh, here they come. Gee, thanks. Nice to meet you. Huh? Oh, no! Is there something wrong with his trunk? Yeah. Is that why he's sad? There's nothing wrong with it. <gasps> Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Hello, Junior Rangers. Elephants use their trunks to smell, grab food, and take dust baths. They also use them to suck up water, then spray it into their mouths to drink. African elephants have two finger-like growths at the tip of their trunks, that allow them to grab smaller objects. So elephant trunks are pretty important, but baby elephants must first learn how to use them. Aw, the younger elephant is sad because he's not as good as his brother. Then let's teach him how to use his trunk. What a lovely idea. Good luck with that, Junior Rangers. See you around. Bye, Bye Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Go on, give it a try. Put your trunk in the water, then suck. Aww. It's okay. Let's try again. Huh? Whoa, that's a lot of water. He's like a fountain. Hey! <gasps> Where are you going? Come back! It's wrong to show off like that. It's okay. Your brother knows he's wrong. We can help you with your trunk. Slow down. Huh? Oh, no! Oh, no. He 
eavesdropped. <laughs> Hang on, we'll get you out. Jane, you stay here with Zumi to watch him. The rest of us will get Platypus One. Got it. <gasps> oh no. <sighs> he is all right. Uh oh. Platypus One is not powerful enough. What should we do now? He's going to the river. He is soaking up water. But what's he doing with it? If we fill the hole with water, he can swim out of there. Good thinking, buddy. Come on, Rangers, let's give him a hand. I don't think that's enough. It's gonna take forever to fill it up. We need more help. Whoa. Amazing. What's going on? He called for backup. He's instructing them. All right. It'll be filled with water in no time. Let's do this, Rangers. That should do it. Yes. All right. We did it. <laughs> we turned that frown upside down. Bye, Bye elephants. elephants. Whoa there. Aww. He'll be fine. Big brothers can get annoying sometimes, but they'll always be there for you. Huh? See you on the other side, Zumi. It is on! Ooh. What was that? Those are not rocks. They are hippos. But why are there so many of them here? Maybe Leo can solve this mystery. Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Jane. What's up? Hello, Leo. Something strange is happening. A small mud hole is swamped with hippos. Have a look at this photo. Hmm. That is strange. But don't worry, Jane. We'll figure it out when we get there. Here it is. The hippopotamus. Hippopotamus, or hippos, tend to live in large groups with as many as 200 hippos. Hippos are semi-aquatic mammals. That means they live both on land and in water. But hippos spend most of their time in rivers, lakes, and mud holes to stay cool. In fact, hippos can close their nostrils and hold their breath underwater for as long as five minutes. So, the hippos want to stay cool. But why do they choose such a small mud hole? I'm not sure, Katie. We'll just have to head there to find out why. Whoa! Hi, Jane. Hi, Leo. Hi, Katie. Poor hippos. They're squashed like sardines. We should help them find a bigger place to stay cool. A lake? Let's see. A lake. Found one. There's a huge lake just over that hill. Do you see the lake, Jane? You are not going to believe this. Huh? Where's the lake? Look, it's... Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! What are you doing, Ranger Rocky? A rain dance to summon rain. The weather has been a lot warmer this year, and it hasn't been raining much. Would the rain dance work, Ranger Rocky? The hippos are in need of water. I can only hope it would, but what's this about the hippos? They're all squashed up in a small mud puddle. Do you know more about them? I sure do. Hippos might look friendly, but they're dangerous animals. They're super strong and have a mighty bite. The mud puddle is simply too small. We have to find them a new home. I know of a huge river that hasn't dried up. Perfect. We can herd the hippos there. How do you plan to do that, Leo? Hmm. What do hippos eat? 
Hippos love to eat plants like grasses, small shoots, and reeds. I've got it. I know how we can hurt them. All right, hang tight, Rangers. River, here we come. <laughs> We're here. Enjoy. Huh? What's wrong, little guy? It is Mother Hippo. We need to bring her baby back to her. Let's go, Rangers. Platypus One, activate! Hang on, everyone. It's gonna be a bumpy ride. Don't worry, little buddy. We'll get you to your mama. It will be okay. Excuse me! Coming through! Gotta get a baby hippo back to its mom! Whoa! <laughs> Hang on, guys! I got you! Oof! I think I'm going to be sick. Uh-oh! Stop! Don't fight! Break it up! It was just an accident! <laughs> What do we do now? Activate flight mode. The wings will keep us afloat. Got it. Platypus one, activate. Oh no! It's the mama hippo. Leave it to me, Junior Rangers. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Pardon me. Sorry. Pardon me. Go to Mama. Yay! Now let's get out of here. I love a happy ending. Mission accomplished. Hit subscribe and click the like icon.